Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jonas's Jungle. Um, so today, what we're going to be covering is propagation of spider plants. Now, I've had a spider plant hung up in my window for quite some time, and it sent off a lot of babies. Um, so today, we're going to be removing those babies and propagating them on into water first as a medium, and then finally by potting them up after about a week and a half into soil. So. Okay guys, so here we have the Chlorophytum camosum, uh, also known as a spider plant. Um, and as you can see, I've got mine in a hanging basket. Now, this usually stays in my bedroom window, uh, which I will be moving just because it's starting to get a bit scorched as it's a self-facing window, it gets way too much light. But as you can see, it has been very happy. Um, it sent off a load of um, spider plantlets. So the main reason that the spider plant actually gets its name is due to the actual babies that come off, or spiderettes. Um, and they dangle down from the mother plant, looking like spiders on a web. So, as you can see, the spiderette here has some really well-developed uh, root nodes. Um, they're going to develop into nice roots, but at the moment it's still attached to the main plant via this stem here, which originally had some white flowers on. So as you can see, I've just cut one of these off um, and it's important to make sure that you cut not only the stem towards the base of the mother plant but also the base of the baby as well. So here I am just continuing to trim off all the spiderettes and their stems. Um, just generally making the plant look a little bit nicer, keeping some of the white flowers on because they're going to produce more babies, uh, but otherwise it, just treat it as an MOT for your plant really, just make it look nice before moving on to doing the rest of the cuttings. So now that I've got all the cuttings, I'm just making sure that I trim them off of each of the stems. Um, I've got some water to hand as well, just so I can leave them in there to soak. Um, but otherwise, just trimming off the ones that are large enough to propagate onwards. So having removed the plants um, from the stems, I'm now just making sure that I take off any damaged leaves or any brown bits, um, just generally tidying it up. Any of the shoots that have started to come out underneath where the root ball is as well, I'm just generally removing those so that we have an overall better plant to propagate onwards. The next step is to transfer them into a tray with water. Um, now this actually provides them with enough space to all stand up vertically. Uh, this is where they're going to stay for the next week and a half uh, just to develop some nice new roots um, and then they'll be ready for planting.
Hey guys, so after a one and a half weeks you can see that the roots have managed to push out quite a bit and they are ready to pot on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them into this small uh, plastic pot that's just a little bit larger than this part for now as it's going to be the ideal size for giving away to friends. So starting up with the potting of this plant, I'm just going to be using a peat-free compost as I like to use for all of my plants. Uh, no need for any specialist like perlite or vermiculite in here at all. Uh, it's going to be quite well draining and it's quite small so it will dry up quite quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm just filling up the pot halfway and uh, as you can see just removing any of the dead dead leaves. Uh, this prevents rotting and keeps your plant looking tidy. I'm just going to fill up the outside of the edges with some more soil to make sure it's anchored in there. But otherwise this plant's pretty much done. It will just require some watering. Now having come from being propagated in water for the last week and a half it's going to be used to a moister environment. So with this in mind you're going to need to for the first couple of weeks at least just keep watering it um, to keep the soil moist uh, but not overly saturated uh, just to help it acclimatize to soil. So spider plants are very resilient plants and will take quite a lot of abuse to be honest but that having been said if you keep them well watered and in either partial shade or indirect but bright sunlight they will do really well for you. So they're going to grow up to 60 centimetres tall and 60 centimetres wide, sending off an array of beautiful white flowers. They're going to really get nice bushy full bodied leaves and then eventually those beautiful white flowers are going to turn into little baby spider plants which you can then give away to friends. So here is the original spider plant baby with its roots and then obviously the potted up plant. So that plant's ready to give away to that special friend or perhaps yourself. And that brings us to the end of the video guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.